The Vancouver Canucks cleaned house last night, making changes at both head coach and general manager. We'll be going through all the details. Let's go. Hey everybody, huge changes last night for the struggling Vancouver Canucks who are once again having an extremely disappointing season. They finally decided to make some sweeping changes as Travis Green has been fired as their head coach and Jim Benning has been fired as their general manager. Bruce Boudreaux will take over coaching duties and Stan Schmeel is taking over as the interim GM to uh, run day-to-day operations for the Canucks. We'll get into it here, taking a look. This is the article straight from NHL.com. Uh, Green and Benning fired, Boudreaux and Schmiel taking over, and uh, we'll take a look at some of the details here. Travis Green was in his fifth season as head coach, and he's being replaced by Bruce Boudreaux. Benning was in his eighth season as general manager, and he'll be replaced by Stan Schmiel. And uh, Canucks will begin a search for new leadership in the hockey operations department for a more long-term solution. Uh, Assistant general manager John Weisbrod and assistant coach Nolan Baumgartner were also relieved of their duties. And Scott Walker, former NHL player, will be coming on as an assistant coach under Bruce Boudreaux. Uh, the Canucks, another extremely disappointing season this year. 8-15-2 on the year, last place in the Pacific Division. So this really is uh, no, no real surprise. They lost their last game to the Pittsburgh Penguins 4-1, and they were just 3-9-1 in their last 13 games. So this has been a long time coming. Um, we knew that Green and Benning were on the hot seat. They needed to have a bounce back year this season after last year, but that obviously has not been the case as they continue to be a last place team. And, uh, we go back last year was another horrible, horrible season, uh, for the Canucks as well. They went 23, 29 and four last year, and they finished last in the North division, um, so again, really, really disappointing last season, and then that's continued this year, and uh, obviously that's led to the major changes that have happened. Um, if we look at uh, if we look at what uh, has happened here, Bru- uh, Travis Green came in in 2017. Uh, and he replaced uh, Willie Desjardins, who qualified for the playoffs in 2015 with the Canucks and then struggled after that. Green qualified for the playoffs in 2020. They made it to the second round before losing to the Vegas Golden Knights. And then obviously uh, in 2021, they did not make it. And it certainly does not look like they are going to make it again this year. A um, lot of changes this offseason for Vancouver. Uh, they made the huge trade getting Connor Garland and Oliver Ekman Larson, getting rid of the contracts of Antoine Roussel, Jay Beagle, and Louis Erickson, as well as three draft picks. Uh, they brought in Jason Dickinson. They traded away Nate Schmidt. They uh, bought out Jake Vertanen and Braden Holtby. They signed Tucker Pullman in Justin Dowling. They uh, let go of Alexander Edler. A lot of moves this offseason trying to make this team better. And uh, unfortunately, those moves have not worked out for the Canucks. And uh, I think this was kind of Benning's last chance to get things right here. And uh, it hasn't at all worked out. Um, Bruce Boudreau taking over as coach has a very good coaching record throughout his career. 567 career wins. He coached the Washington Capitals from 2007 through 2011. Extremely successful with Washington. Very good time with the Anaheim Ducks as well from 2011 to 2016. And most recently with the Minnesota Wild from 2016 to 2020. He won the Jack Adams Award as the best coach in the NHL back with Washington back in 2008. Um, Bruce Boudreaux has always been an extremely successful uh, regular season head coach. His problems have come in the playoffs as he has not really been able to win anything of significance in the postseason. 
And, uh, you know, he struggled to go deep into the playoffs. That's always been the knock against Bruce Boudreaux. But if you are the Vancouver Canucks, you will just be happy to get to the playoffs at some point here. So, um, you know, he's obviously very, very successful in the uh, in the regular season. And the Vancouver is hoping that that will continue and get them to the postseason in the near future. Probably not going to happen this year with the huge hole that they're in in last place, but they're hoping that down the line, Boudreaux can get them to the postseason. Uh, Stan Smeal taking over as, uh, I guess, the interim GM right now. He played his entire NHL career with the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, a, one of the guys that is really considered Mr. Canuck up in Vancouver. And, uh, you know, he was a third round selection in the 1978 NHL draft, went on to score almost 700 career points in almost 900 career games for Vancouver. And he was actually captain of the team from 1982 to 1990. And his number 12 is retired by the Canucks. So, uh, obviously long history with the team there for Stan Schmiel and, uh, he is taking over now, uh, basically the interim GM taking over day-to-day -day hockey operations with some help from Ryan Johnson, assistant general manager Chris Gear, Daniel and Henrik Sedin, who are now in the front office, and Doug Jarvis. So uh, there's going to be a lot of teamwork there and help in the front office trying to uh, get this team headed in the right direction. But Overall, major, major changes being made here to the Vancouver Canucks uh, just day, uh, front office as well as coaching staff as they make sweeping changes to try and get this team headed in the right direction. And again, this is overall not a surprise at all as uh, these... This team has really underperformed last season and again this year. Really thought that the 2020 playoffs was going to kind of be a jumping off point for this team to come out of the rebuild and into a con uh, continual playoff contender. And unfortunately, it's been a huge step back since the 2020 playoffs. And they're not getting good production out of their star players. They don't have good production out of depth players. They're very, very poor defensively. And... Uh, it's all really just gone downhill for Vancouver over the last year and a half. And uh, now we are seeing the ramifications of that as Jim Benning has been fired as general manager and Travis Green has been fired as head coach. So completely new group coming in now for the Canucks as they look to get things straightened out. We'll see, uh, we'll see what they are able to do. We'll find out right away tonight they have a game. Uh, they're playing the Los Angeles Kings tonight at home. We'll see if there's any sort of boost right out of the gate from these changes for the Canucks. But um, the rest of this season is de definitely going to be spent evaluating the current roster, the current talent, seeing what direction they want to go in and what changes they want to make come uh come this off season. And then next year we assume will be uh, Bruce Boudreaux's first, you know, real shot as full season as head coach and a real chance for him to get this team righted in the, in the uh, correct direction that they want to be headed in. But just wanted to obviously talk about this huge news out of Vancouver as the, uh, the Canucks make huge changes to their hockey operations and look to get this team back on track where they have gone very much off the rails over the past year plus. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, our memberships, merch store, and donation links are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys soon.